All right, so back on the plateau, and what I want to do very quickly is just see if we can actually get the final health upgrade. I think it's the final health upgrade. I'm not 100% on that, but let's check and see if it is the final one. I don't know if this one's going to only be five honeycombs or if there's more required. All right, I'll trade you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. You need four more honeycombs before I can give you any extra energy. So, I have five. I think four more, so nine for the last one. That's a weird amount. It's been five in the entire game up to now. Now it's randomly nine. Okay. Uh, Mark McCauley, I am well. Thank you for asking. He says, how are you? I'm doing well. Maybe what it is, is there's three in World 8, and then there's one that I missed in another world. Could be. Alright, so to get to World 8, this is the platform that is going to teleport you to the sky. If I remember correctly, it's outside of the dinosaur world. Of a ledge, so we need to head over there. That is not the teleportation spot. Boy, I'm stupid. I am stupid! It's stupid, though. That would be Wasteland. A teenage Wasteland. Bobby Link's a Sky Stage hype. Wait, is this a good stage coming up? I wouldn't know. I believe it's right up through here. Yep, here we go. Alright, let's hit the bubble. Oh, look at this. Cloud Cuckoo Land. Sure. No, wait, I didn't... That's obviously not what I wanted. The camera angle changed as soon as I started touching the thumb pad, uh, forcing me to run back into the bubble. Oh, my God. My day off was good, King Tiger. Thank you for asking. Okay, go around and hit the platform. What is this red thing? I don't know. What is this? over here this looks like a like a bounce pad or something is it artwork fancy a little physical exercise for a ball i am mr fit and i'm really fit i am so fit in fact that if you can beat me in three events i'll give you my fitness gold medal that's nice it is actually as you can probably see even i Oh, event one is the high jump, a bar set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. So, in order to jump over it, It's obvious you gotta use Kazooie for the high, high jump, but even Kazooie, I don't know if they can, if she could jump that high. I don't know. So I don't think I can do this yet. I have to see if I can figure it out, if there's a way to do it. Oh, by the way, I can already see Wumba's tent way out there. See that on a floating island? Is that Mumbo? That could be Mumbo way out there, but I'm not sure. There's all kinds of different stuff. Floating islands all over the place. I smoked a lot. They tipped me another dollar thirty and said this stage will blow your mind with the amount of puzzles in it and how it progresses. Only three more health units in the level, so you must have missed one at an earlier level. Gotcha. I figured as much, but uh, that's fine. 
we maybe have to backtrack at some point to get the, the one that I missed. That's okay. All right, so let's let's take a look around. Well, looks like this is the only thing we can do right now. So we go in this cave and see where it leads. No, there's actually another way to go over there. Well, let's go in the cave and see where it leads. We immediately got some notes. The central cavern. So it's way high up there. There's a Jinjo whistling up there. Could be real. We got spring shoes. Is that an egg? There's an egg. Dude, there's a ton going on in here. There's water. There's a cave going down. There's a cave going up. There's another cave going down. Dude, this is like a cave chock full of activity. All right, there's an ability hidden inside here. That's gonna allow me to jump up, jump pad. Oh, look at this. But I can't transform right now. I probably need to become the bag, go in and then turn normal and then he'll give Banjo a new ability. Probably. Did I wear this outfit during my break? No, I, take, I told you I take off the vest and the glasses and stuff during the break. What is that? What the hell are those? Oh, I could go out, but I don't want to yet. Ow! Alright, wait a minute. I see spring shoes, right? Now, I was gonna say, if I grab the spring shoes and I leave... Okay. Can I get back to that high jump area and use the spring shoes to jump high? But I don't think so, because I think I need to jump to get back to that area. I think he's got a sausage in his hand or something. Look at that. A big kielbasa. Alright, we've also got the thing that climbs walls. We've got a separation pad. And a teleportation. Alright, let's separate. Let's see if I can get Banjo over there. And if I can do this, get the ability. There's an egg, obviously, that he can land on. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it if I could double jump. See? I don't think I can make it high enough. Nah. There's got to be a way to get him across. High enough and across. No, even that's not high enough. See, you gotta get real high to get up there. Hmm. Perhaps Kazooie can do something with this egg that'll help us? do for us oh wow that's a rare floatus floatium creature if I'm not mistaken yeah I don't want to do this uh. Floaters can't speak, but I'm sure their lighter than air ability is useful for something. Huh? Huh? Ooh. Oh! Oh, look at that! Oh, 
Okay. Nice. That's the wrong one. Nice. Let's grab this. Grab this. What's this? Plant a seed, watch it grow. Up the beanstalk you will go. Okay. New ability time. Sack pack. When faced by danger, jump on top. Now in the backpack, you can hop. Hold button left or right, and then press the right stick up. Sailing inside is where you'll be. Okay. So this is better than the other one because you can jump high in this. And this one, you're, yeah, this one protects you underwater, right? But I wonder what the difference is with this. I have no idea. But this one you can't fit to go out. Huh. I don't know how I'm going to utilize that new pack ability yet, but I'm glad I got it. It seems pretty important to get that ability. I don't think floating is going to benefit me anymore here. I think it was exclusively just to get that item. I could be wrong, but I think that's the vibe I'm getting. If I grab the spring shoes, maybe I can go over there and go up on that ledge. Where are those spring shoes? Cuckoo Lane. Okay. So he can't do anything with them. It's gotta be... It's gotta be Banjo who finds a way to come out here and, and floats over to, I guess, to that flower over there, right? That's what I'm, I'm guessing. Um... Yeah, Anonymous gifted a subscription to Don't Don't Be With Two. Congratulations, Don't Be With Two. Thank you, uh, that Anonymous, for the support. Ice Mocha Latte, Timmy Doctor, says the new ability can be used to get the Jiggy and Grunties. You mean the one with the toxic water? That move is used a bit on this stage, particularly in a sticky cheese place. Ew. All right, I'll have to remember that. So, if that's the case, it sounds to me like you can use that to bounce on things like water, right? Like walk on water in the bag, maybe? To try that. Okay. Oh, his name is Don't Be a Wuss. Huh. Alright, Don't Be a Wuss. Thank you. So I can't do anything with that. Oh, God. Oh. I see. This hurts. This hurts you. If you touch it. So I can't touch it. So maybe that will let me float over there and float over this to get over there. I see two different things to do. Okay. Now, of course, the question here is, how am I going to get Banjo up here? You know, I think I could get Banjo up here right now if we fuse together. I think so. Okay, here we go. Then we can do it this one. Ow. Nice! Just high enough. Look at that. Okay. Alright, so, first of all, I want to see what's over there with these flowers. Oh, what am I doing? 
Oh, wait, I can't. I need to have the bag, and I don't have the bag. Yeah, you know what? I don't know how to do this, because you can't... Yeah, because Zooey's in the bag, so I can't float here. And I can't go across here until Banjo's by himself. But how in the holy heck do I get Banjo up there by himself? Because you need to have the spring shoes to reach that height. So I actually don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I don't. The only thing I can think of is trying to float with this floating ability. And instead of floating straight there, float left. But I don't think I'm going to get high enough. No, I don't think so. Nah, I don't really... I don't know. Well, I can't figure that one out for now. What else is in here? We got a thing that's lower down right there. Let's see what's in this lower platform. There's so many ways to go down here. It's ridiculous. Okay. We got a flower. Oh, God, some enemies! Yeah, I didn't expect that. Alright, it's so another one of these landing pads. What the holy hell is this? can't get over there. Right, if I had Kazooie separate, I could do this. So that's what I need to do, separate, have Banjo stand out here, then have Kazooie come run out here and fly down there in time, I guess, right? Yeah. It's gotta be Kazooie that does it. All right, let's separate again. This is gonna be a hell of a stage. I get the feeling this stage you're gonna constantly be separating and doing combined and separate and combined and separate. Pretty neat, but it's gonna be very complex. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I should hit this and then fly over there. Here we go. Nice! Let's see what this is. There's no way that's a Jinjo. That's fake bullshit. Nope. Yup. Called it. So it's great we're in here, but why am I in here? I don't know why I'm here. There's nothing in here. Unless... It looked like an egg, so I thought maybe I would do something. I guess that's that's a no. Yes, Super Rebecca, I am playing SpongeBob when it comes up. There was no point in doing that at all. There was no Jiggy in there. I got in and there was nothing inside. Oh, look what I got. Alright, let's look at something. Well, I don't understand why I went inside. Huh. I have no... That's really confusing. I did the puzzle correct, and I got no reward for it. That's weird. I don't know, that's weird to me. 
Why did I get no reward? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I think I missed something. I get the feeling there was something going on there that I completely missed out. So I'm getting two different directions here. Some people are saying it's a mini game where if you shoot different kinds of eggs into these holes, you get something. But then people are telling me, look, there was a crack up here. That doesn't do anything. All right, what about this thing? No. Nothing's working. <laughs> I don't get it. Even knowing what I'm supposed to do, I don't get it. Yes, yeah, Ice Latte says shoot one of each egg into the side of the egg platform. It starts a mini game, but it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, man. This is weird. These holes are like blocked. Yeah, they're blocked. Huh. See, it doesn't do anything. Besides hurt me. Oh, it made a noise. Okay. Stable pot of gold shooting challenge. To win an ill-deserved prize, you must hit at least 75 Gs in 45 seconds. If you manage to be 90, I'll give you an extra prize. I mean you won't even hit 20. Fancy a go. Okay. How does this work? Now so that means you absolutely nothing. It's 75 or 90. Okay. This is tricky. Okay.
Look at that. Yeah, I did it. Nice. Figured it out. All you gotta do is rotate. There you go. All you had to do was spin. You did it. You must have. You hit 94 Jiggies. And you win first and second prizes at once. Huh. Nice. You might have won all my prizes, but I bet you can't hit all 100. Give it a try. Should I try? All right. Damn, it's hard. That's hard. 96. Almost. I'm getting close. Try again. I did it! Now that's the time to be. Alright, let's get the rewards. I did them all! So I guess we're done. I'm certainly not doing that again. I thought I would get like an a, a achievement for hitting all 100, but I didn't get it. That sucks. Alright. Alright, I guess we're done. So that was good. I got a life upgrade, uh, honeycomb, a page, and a jiggy all in one go here. That's pretty damn good, dude. You son of a bitch. Standing right there in my way. Alright, so I guess we're done here. Alright, so that's, that's done. Obviously, there's something underwater here we can look at. I don't know if I need to be just him or Banjo or both. Oh, apparently you cannot dive as just Kazooie, which is weird because you can definitely do stuff underwater as Kazooie, but it won't let me. Huh. What the fuck? Great. Great control. I'm walking normally up the side and the fucking camera rotates and screws me over. Why does it make a cash register sound when they pop up? That's weird. Alright, let's let's go to the water over here. Okay. Dive. There we go. So I see some musical notes. That I missed? Are you kidding me? I clipped and... <laughs> That's insane. I went right through it. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, it drains the water. Cool. And... Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? That's gonna flood Terry Dack the land so the guy will have water and I'll be able to get that jiggy. Ah. See how cool it is? The connection of the worlds is really neat how they did that. I like that. Yeah, look. I get the final jiggy. Yippee, my pool's full of water. Where did it all come from? He gets a nice water. Delicious. Delicious. Alright. Hello, Beast Pie. Get it? You said you wouldn't just drop from the sky. I lied, just drink and be happy. Oh, I am. Here, take my odd shaped gold tooth in exchange. Oh, it just gave it to me. Okay. So that jiggy, that jiggy's probably just gonna count for Dino Land, I would think. Yeah, it didn't count for here, it counted for Dino Land. So I think we're done with the Pterodactyl Land now. I think we completed it. Um, by the way, there's only one upgrade in this area, and we got it already. So that's good. That's a good sign. Cool. So we, the water is done. Is there anything else in this area before we get out of here? I don't think so. That's all it was. Yep, that's all that was. All right, cool. Got it done. Okay. Well, I ever played playing the answer of Persona 3 FES was I completed the journey over a year ago. I know it's like supposed to be a DLC, but I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know. Like, I'm not really I don't really feel like going back to Persona 3 anytime soon. Do you hear that? That's the magic guy. Have you looked in this pool yet? Oh, look. Oh, I got that. Is there anything else down here? Nope. Just the magic dude. Alright. What do we got over here? Another note. Another area. Let's see where this goes. Do I consider myself hairy? I mean, yeah, I think I am pretty hairy. We got a flight ability. And we got Mumbo! It's Mumbo. Let's briefly go in Mumbo's place and see if, uh... If there's anything in there besides just Mumbo. That is totally not a real Jinjo. It is? Wow, that's the easiest Jinjo ever. He's literally standing in front of my face. I could I could awaken him. But I don't know if I want to. By the way, how many Jinjos are on this stage? Let's find out. Five. I've only found one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where to do where to do the Mumbo stuff yet. So I'm gonna save the magic guy in case I run into Wumbo and I need to do Wumbo first. Now let's make sure there's no cracks in his walls. Nope, not that I can see. Okay. I can't believe there was a Jinjo in there. Alright, so I can fly if I want. I don't necessarily know if I want to right now. I can also climb over here. What's this? Mature adult to me, $4.20. I'm having trouble with my chat. I was being one of your mods. I've always been kind, courteous, and positive. Wondering if you look into this at your earliest convenience. Kind regards. Yeah, I'm a mature adult. You have to email me at darkstuckfield.hotmail.com and say, Hey, can you please look into it and figure out if I can be unbanned? And I'll look into it. But I'm not going to stop my whole stream now for it, okay? But I do appreciate the tip. Thank you. What is going on here? 
Oh, you fucker. So this is a higher up area. We need to be able to be just Kazooie in order to do this. Hmm. We could do that if we hit the flight platform. We can fly right here and, and, uh, and do that. Oh, what? Someone's in the air to finger G at all costs. Oh my god! That's pretty crazy, huh? I wanted to go over there and drill there, but I screwed up because I was out running the goo. Oh crap, I almost fell. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh boy, it's not good. Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy! Oh! Ow! Shout out to the Hedgehog, what's going on, man? He just did a 500 bit cheer. He said, I wish they translated from Esper's to Eidolons in Final Fantasy VI. Makes more sense if they want to go with the original script. Huh. Well, yeah, you're right. How, how you know, our Final Fantasy seems to have a carryover. And you're right, and some of them, they're called Eidolons. In Final Fantasy VI, they're called Esper's. You're absolutely right. And they're pretty much the same thing, summoned monsters, right? In the original Final Fantasy uh, II, which was called... Well, the original Final Fantasy IV, which was called Two in the United States, they didn't call them either. They just called them Summoned Monsters. The Land of Summoned Monsters. They never called them Eidolons there. So it's kind of interesting how things change over time. But you're right. You know, in general, they are called Eidolons in Final Fantasy lore. Thank you for the cheer, by the way. And thank you to Bugox, who just subscribed to the channel. I appreciate that, Bugox. Now, where does this go? Central Cavern, because I think I can grab the spring shoes, come up here, and then teleport and do the high jump. Ready? Yep. Nice! How'd you do that? Never mind. We'll move on to event two when you find me. So he's out of here. We gotta find a second event now. That was cool. Oh man, my wife is making the chili again. So here. Oh my god, what is a sack race? A sack race. So last week, my wife made this chili. Okay, homemade chili. It had so many good ingredients like tomatoes and onions, beans, uh, ground turkey. All kinds of seasonings. It was amazing. She liked it so much, she's making it again tonight. And the whole fucking house smells amazing right now. I can smell it being cooked. Oh. This smells so good, dude. I can't wait to have this chili. Oh, it smells good. The house smells so goddamn good. Oh. Oh. All right, anyway. I think I'm going to split up here. I'm gonna have Kazooie alone. Ow! Go have. I'm gonna have Kazooie alone go out here and have her see if she can get up to that platform by flying, and then lay on the egg. There we go. Nice. It'll be a floaty thing? It's a floaty thing. So I'm assuming that's not how you get Banjo over there. You have to get Banjo to this platform by himself. And then he can float over there. But what does he want to go over there by himself for? 
I'm not sure, honestly. Did we go in here yet? No, we didn't, but look what we found. Alright, that's how you get up here. Oh, shit. Oh, what is that? Nine egg? It looks like a nine egg switch. What does that even mean? Okay. The super stash. You need to hit four different switches to get the super stash. That's interesting. Probably a jiggy, I bet. Novax just tipped me a dollar thirty and says, "Wendy's chili, big ups, road to five hundred, Phil." Um, if it means a five hundred vestry, that's pretty crazy. I don't think I'm hitting a five hundred vestry. That'd be insanity. But, um, thank you for the dollar tip. He says, "Wendy's chili." Oh hell no! This chili is crazy good. This is no fucking disgusting. Wendy's leftover burger pieces chili. Greetings, fleshy one. Wow, I talking safe. Correct? I'm a super stash deluxe four digit infinite combination reinforced strong box. The four digits only gives you 10,000 combinations. Hey, no one likes a wise guy. It's enough up here. Alright, let's have a look inside. Oh, that might be a problem. I seem to have forgotten my own combination. Perhaps they should have spent a little more of your intelligence chip. Ah! Uh, I know, sorry, fleshy one, but if you can find the combination, I'll gladly open up. Fair enough. We already found one. Did we go? No, we didn't go this way yet. No, there's a, a note down there. We gotta get back with Banjo in order to swim under there, right? Oh, fuck it. Give me with a goddamn candy cane, you piece of shit. Oh my god. So taking a look around here, okay. Down there is that, and then I guess the water yes, the other water is right there. We have oh that's the starting area right there. So really we've done almost everything in this cave at this point. Unless there's something high up. Uh, there is something high up. There's a high up ledge right there. Okay, that we can go on. And... And then there's the water. And then there, there's a Jinjo. What I'm guessing is... Can we... Can we take Kazooie all the way up there to the top by herself and then fly across to grab the Jinjo? We can try that. I spoke a lot. They took me a $1.30. If you want easy jiggy... Go into the red Mumbo skull and talk to Mumbo. The same way that Easy Jinjo was is kind of weird. Road to 500 was a wings meme. Road to 500 pounds. Oh my god, seriously? Oh, I didn't know that. Bug Ox took me $5. So what's curious with your history with the cowboy hat? Oh, I got it when I went to Memphis, Tennessee for a Street Fighter tournament. It was early on in my YouTube years when I was getting very popular. And I had a lot of money. So I said, oh, I want to get a cool souvenir. And I bought a cowboy hat when I was actually in Memphis. And they mailed it to me. Uh, and I started wearing it for Ask the King, and that's really it. There's really nothing else to it. Um, Snooze? Snoozy Biku? <laughs> Shirin said, what are your thoughts on the recent Twitch Safety Council controversy? Do you believe Twitch made the right decision by appointing someone who classifies the majority of gamers as white supremacists? I don't know anything about it. I don't really care. I don't involve myself in nonsensical drama. And in this case, I really feel that it is... Like, something ridiculous that I don't care about and won't affect me. So, I really have nothing to say. Call that a pussy answer if you will, but if it doesn't really affect me, I have no opinion. I'm not going to look into it because I don't care about the Twitch Safety Council. They're not going to affect my streams because I don't do anything risque. You son of a bitch, you almost got me. Alright, can I fly over there and get this Jinjo? He's right there, I see it. Should be right here if it's a real Jinjo. I don't know if it's a real Jinjo or not. That was easy. That was a really easy one. Okay.
So what I would say is we got two things left. We can go down to that lower water area, or we can go up into this another cave that I haven't gone in yet. Or we could check out the Mumbo House that I didn't do anything in yet. Now, I smoke a latte is recommending I do that, saying that that Mumbo House is an easy jiggy. So maybe I should just try that. Uh -huh. I think that was through here, right? Hmm. Alright, let's go in here and see. Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has a big surprise for you. Oh, I like surprises. Oh, Kirby Sh Shaman Impersonator. Har, har, har. Foolish bear. You fell straight into my trap. I'm not that pathetic shaman that you think I am. I'm Minji Jongo, and your wordless quest ends here. Holy shit! As you see, there's no escape and resistance is futile. Oh my god! A boss fight! Oh, my elaborate disguise is ruined, revealing my evil cyboticness. How am I going to hit him? I'm going to run out of health here. Whoa! Oh! Wow. It's a tough fight. It's a tough fight because his shots are like homing shots. Huh. That was pretty cool. I like that. Imp impromptu boss fight out of nowhere. Let's go through that again. That was actually neat. I actually think I really like this world. I think this is my favorite world in a while. Not to say that I like, hated the last one, but this one's pretty neat. I like how different it is. Hello, Crap Crack. How you doing today? It's going well. Uh, fun Banjo Tui stream here. Let's try this again. Oh, all right, here we go again. Okay, I'm doing much better this time. I don't know why he's not teleporting away anymore. The fight got way easier. He doesn't teleport away anymore. Bizarre. I can't get my chances of stopping you are now minimal. All right. A random jiggy out of nowhere. Cool. I don't understand why the second time around was so easy compared to the first time. The first time he was teleporting away and everything, and this time he didn't do anything. He just kind of took the hits. Weird. I don't know, but that was neat. That was pretty neat. I like that. Okay. 
All right, guys. Now, something I want to try while I'm here. What is this? Oh, you know what? Didn't they mention at the very beginning they said plant the seed, it'll grow? I must have to find a seed somewhere and come back here and grow it. That must be what that is. Huh. Alright, I guess we'll go back inside. Alright, so that's done. Now, I didn't go out here, right? I never went high up to see what's over here. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, let's see what's through this door. Wait a minute. There's something else. There's two... There's two caves here. What's over here? A pair of speed shoes. I wonder what these are for. Mumbo. We don't have Mumbo. You know what? It's a race. This would be the third challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be the third challenge against the Aardvark. I need to grab the Speed Shoes, run out here, and beat him in a foot race. Well, now we know how to do that. But uh, I can't do it yet. And then up here we got Mumbo Pad, but we haven't found Mumbo yet. So that's a no-go. I smoke a latte to the dollar threes. I'll feel your pain whenever you get to Canary Mary in the level. It was the only part I couldn't 100% complete back in the day. She's an absolute nightmare compared to Glitter Gulch Mine. Oh, really? The re there's a race against Canary Mary? Huh. Okay. Thing for the dollar tip. Now, let's see. No, I don't see anything below me. All right. So, that's for later. That's for when we beat the Arvark in the second challenge. I can't see anything right now. Great. So what I'm thinking, I need to become Banjo, and I need to get to that area. If you remember, there was the, like, the Briar Patch, or, or whatever was the Thorns. And I need to get just banjo out there but wasn't that over there right no is a chance I can try I don't think I'm gonna make it it's too slow yeah see no, that ain't gonna work. I thought maybe I could float over there, but no, it's way too slow. How on, on earth? It teleports back. How on earth am I gonna get just Banjo up to there so that you can go out to the Briar Patch? Free Jerome just subscribed for five months and said, For your recent successful streams, am I going to upgrade my PC? I have no plans on doing that. I said it earlier on this stream. Guys, please don't talk about financial stuff. You have to understand something. I just got out of one giant financial problem. I have another one I need to take care of. Once they're both taken care of, then I can take a look and say, Okay, this is how much I'm making. This is how much I owe. This is how much I'm paying. And now I have a budget. And now I can work out exactly how much money I can put towards things like investing in the business or other things. I can't do that right now. I can't. Not until July can I even talk to the federal government about taxes and things like that because they're closed. So I cannot do any planning for money whatsoever between now and then. So please don't ask. 
There's no point in asking me about financial stuff. I can't answer because I have no clue until July comes and I talk to the IRS. Okay? All right. Now, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is spring shoes. But no, that wouldn't work because spring shoes don't work on just banjo. Maybe what I'll do. Uh -huh. Let's get both of them out there and take a look again. Okay. Oh, you know what? I did not go across. Yeah, I can't go across because, again, I'm not... If I was just Banjo, I could go across this briar patch over here and get over there and see where it leads. Oh, by the way, there's another Mumbo down there. That looks like the real Mumbo, not the fake one, right? So maybe what I need to do is fly to that Mumbo. I think that might be what it is. Fly by the way, is that a jelly castle down there? I think it is. I think I need to get to the flight patch and fly around till I get to that Mumbo, see what is that Mumbo, and go from there. Because I'm not sure what else to do at this point. Yeah, until I can... Until I can come here as just Banjo, I'm stuck. Okay. I smoke a lot of to the dollar 30 says, you gotta find bean seeds and dirt ground around using a drill ability. Plan them to find Mumbo, use magic to make it rain, the seeds grow, and climb them and reach new places. I haven't found any seeds, I don't know where they are. I have not found any seeds, so I don't know how that works. This isn't it. I need to find the, the area that has the wa uh, the flight pad. I'm trying to fly over to Mumbo. By the way, I've only got about 20 minutes left on the stream. So I'm definitely not beating this or anything, uh, you know, tonight. But next time around, probably finish this area up. I think this has the flight pad here. Yes. Okay. There's a giant trash can down here. Let's see what that is. Well, at the very least, we're getting a health upgrade. Ow. This doesn't appear to open. Ah, oh, crap. They want just Kazooie. Okay, I could get just Kazooie to fly over here. I didn't realize that's what it was. Anything behind? Oh, we get a clockwork guy in here? Yeah, look. Oh, that's the four combination. Cool. Two down. Two down, two to go for the super stash. All right. That super stash. Oh my God. That's pretty far. We're back to the fake Wumbo. Okay, so. Let's continue, because remember, there's more I want to do. I want to get to the real Mumbo. What is all the way up here? Oh, it's the next race. Well, there's no way I can beat this unless I'm just Banjo. So that's a no-go. All right, we found Mumbo right there. By the way, there's a high, high, high up cave right there. Well, let's go to the Mumbo house. We also have, oh my god, there's a whole area here I haven't been to yet with dirt and everything. See that? Let's go to the Mumbo house.
All right, cool. That's a fake ginger. Absolutely. Mumbo, why do you have a fake ginger living in your house? <laughs> you better get on that. Come down here and kick his ass. All right. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We got a glue ball. Just give magic creature to Mumbo if you want to help. All right, let's do it. There we go. Oh, yes, yeah, Suzy Biku. I played the first banjo years ago. Full playthrough on DSP Gaming on YouTube right now if you want to see that one. Now, I don't know if Mumbo can do anything right now. I think we might have to open up more areas in order for him to actually be effective, but let's let's go for a quick walk with him. He can't climb, can he? Nope. Can't do anything inside. Oh, he's on a ledge? Yeah, I don't think I want to do this because I don't know where I'm supposed to. I didn't see any any mumbo stuff in here yet. I could be wrong, but at least I know where he is now. I know how to get him in here. I don't want to get him stuck in there or anything. Is there anything behind his hut? No. Okay. Ryan just cheered and asked me how my day off was. He's hoping I'm having a good day. I am having a good day. We're having a lot of fun here with um with Banjo Tui. Right? We're having a very positive, an insanely supportive stream out of nowhere. I don't know why it's so supportive, but I'm not going to complain. So, yeah, having a good time. Oh, uh, Genova Calamity is here and took me $20.86 and says, Phil, do you like the design of the new PS5 controller? I think it looks kind of cool, but for me, it's about the feel. Like, for example, I don't really think visually that the PS4 controller is any better or worse looking than the Xbox One controller, but I can tell you for sure the Xbox One controller feels better. It just feels comfortable in your hands, and I never really get fatigued or anything using the Xbox One controller. Well, the PS4 controller can actually be pretty frustrating for certain kinds of games. So, I just hope that the controller is a comfy fit, because I'll be honest, I really did like this controller over the PS4 controller in this kind of current console chat. So thank you very much for the, for the, the $20 tip there, Genova. I appreciate that. All right, so we did that. Do we want to fly around a little bit more and see if there's anything else we can do before we go get Kazooie? Because remember, there's the solo Kazooie thing to do up there. Yeah, what is this down here? Ow. Oh. Let's see. What are these? Spring shoes. Okay. Feathers. Eggs. That must be one of those beans or things you plant. A strange looking seed. Yep. Okay. There you go. Another one. Ah, nice health upgrade. So you know what? That's it. I got all the health upgrades for this stage. There's only one more, and it's in another stage. Okay. I wonder where I'm supposed to use the spring shoes. Oh, whoa, whoa. My controller just turned off and on for absolutely no reason. Great. What is this? Weird, look. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Well, let's get us to Wumba. That did get us to Wumba. Now the question here is, where's the magic guy that I need to get Wumba's magic? 
Oh no, look who it is. Oh boy. Let's go inside Wombos before we do anything else. Darn, I was hoping the magic guy would be in here. He is not. And there's no secret paths in here. Nope. Hydro Carbon 1 just subscribes. I can't believe there's people in the chat who I unironically prefer In N Out over Five Guys. I love Five Guys. I've only had In N Out once and didn't really like it. So, I think Five Guys is way better. From my experience. All right, well, I guess we're gonna do the Mary race, which probably everyone says is, is very horrible. Hey, Banjo, it's that crazy canary woman again. That's me, now how about another race? But the handcart's still down in the mine. Don't worry, you can use this clockwork mouse that I found instead. Clockwork mouse, are you mad? Yes, go on, jump on board, and press X as fast as you can to power the mouse along. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, I did it. You beat me again. Yup, usual prize will suffice. Don't be greedy, Kazooie. We won all her possessions in the mine. Oh no, you didn't. Look what I found up here. I got a jiggy. I also found another papery thing. Hop on the mouse if you want to try and win it. So, I'll get the jiggy first. No! Well, I guess we're doing this again. Here we go. Here we go again. I spoke a lot. They took me a dollar thirty. Said those spring shoes were intended to be used at the high jump competition with the R bar at the beginning of the level. Trash can with Kazooie only is easy if you do want to get a quick jiggy before the end of the strain. Okay. I'm mashing like crazy here. Oh my god. Alternating fingers. Oh, she caught up. And I'm mashing as hard as I can. Yeah, I'm mashing as hard as I can. Oh my god, she's fast as fuck! She's fast as fuck! Oh my god, I can't catch her. No, nope, I can't catch her. There's no way I'm actually as, as fast as I could possibly do it before my hand falling off. I don't know. How am I supposed to do this? Look how far ahead she is. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Look how far ahead she is. Wow. Well, I'm getting the jiggy. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea how to do that. And my hand is now killing me, dude. Did you just use a pen on the X button for faster mashing? Use a turbo controller. Uh, I don't have a turbo controller for Xbox One. I guess I'll have to come back here for that, because I can't do that. My hand's killing me now anyway. Where does this go? Oh, 
Oh, we're back here. So I got the seeds. I just gotta get back to that, at least one area where you can plant the seed. I don't know how to get to Mumbo where he needs to go, though. Actually, I didn't go in here, did I? Oh yeah, I did. This is the main. This is the main entrance. Oh my god, my hand, my arm actually hurts now from mashing so much. My whole arm is tense. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where it was that you go to plant the seed. Which door? Because now there's a hundred of them. I can't remember which is which. Was it one of the waters? Like, was, it, was it this over here? I don't think it was this. Oh, I didn't even do this. Look at this. I didn't even go down here yet. Seriously? I got like five minutes left. I'm going to try to see what's over here. Because I didn't even go this way yet. Look what I found. Where am I? How in the hell do I kill this thing? have to do with freezing it first. Then what? Nope. Hmm. I don't know. There must be a trick to it that I don't understand. Oh, look who it is! Hey, young man, I'm George Ice Cube, stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of Half-Fire Peaks with my wife, Mildred, when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. I reckon I'm above the icy side. If you just give a little push. It's too bad I killed his wife. Oh, look! Wrong side! That's how you cool the water! Holy shit! I murdered his ass! Oh man, that's fucked up! Now I can go back there! I murdered him! Oh my god! That's great! Ice Mocha Latte says there's some kind of a, a B transformation that you can do. Oh, I don't have that. I don't have a B transformation. So I guess I can't do that yet. Dude, that's fucking great! Eternal Man subs. Napalm says I missed a bit's glitch with Samsung. I guess I did. What's a bit's glitch with Samsung? I have no idea what that is. Let's go to Wumba. Actually, there's nothing else to do here, right? Let's go to Wumba then. Get the magic. See what the magic will do on this stage. I don't know. I have a globo. Here we go. Magic ready, jumping wombo pool. All right, so let's see what this is. Oh, I'm a bee. That's what people were talking about. One more call this B, press A to jump, and A again when in air to fly. Use left stick to steer and press A to fly higher. Press left or right stick for singer. Oh, okay, like this. Oh my god. I can't leave. I'm stuck. 
What was that? I heard a whistle. There's a Jinjo in here. Dude, it's like uncontrollable. I can't, dude, I can't hit the Jinjo because it's so hard to control. This is bad. I can't get the Jinjo. I can't get him to just turn and go straight. This is horrible. Dude, this is really atrociously bad. This is not. What were they thinking here? Oh my god. Even in first person, it's terrible. I guess you've got to do first person. You've got to. No, I didn't. Well. Here's what we'll do. It's time to adjourn my stream anyway, okay guys? So let's take a look at the final totals here before we adjourn for today. 70 of 100 notes, 3 of the 5 Jinjos. We got the ability, we got both magic upgrades, we got all the health upgrades. There's 2 pages left, we know where one of them is, that Mary race. I get the feeling what I need to do is go around and destroy those eyeball plants with the bee that's good for like maybe 2 or 3, maybe? Who knows? Uh, we gotta plant the beanstalk and go up there and do the bag or sack race with the aardvark and then we <clears throat> aardvark we know the third area is going to be a foot race with the aardvark where we need to use the speed shoes with kazooie we also know there's a trash can that we can go into and that's probably one so we've got a lot of stuff to do um here next time around this is good progress we finished up all of world seven we're i say roughly a third to a halfway through into world eight so good stuff and guys, guys thank you so much for an incredibly supportive stream holy shit Never foresaw that this would happen. We have a crazy supporter stream like we did today. So thank you so much for that. Um, we'll adjourn here. Next time around, we'll continue. We'll come back here. We'll, we'll come to B again. And we'll see, you know, how many of those plants actually there are. And how many uh, Jiggies that will lead you to. Okay? So good stuff. Thank you, guys. Great session of Banjo-Tooie. Until next time.